Hey guys, okay, so, oh my god, we have a lot to get through. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, hopefully under 15 minutes, that's the goal. Let's see if we can do it. I tend to ramble, I want this video to be short and concise, there's a lot to go through. I've watched three videos, the Nikado Avocado video, the first one, the response receipts, and then Trisha just uploaded a video saying she's cancelled, we're going to get to all that, and those are all like 30, 40 minutes long each. So this is going to be hopefully a condensed version of those three videos because you like it when I condense these things for you guys. If you know my channel, like, comment, subscribe, gray bell, and all my social media will be down in the, in the info box below. Okay, let's just jump into this. Because this video I want to be under 15 minutes, I'm just going to say my point that I've written down in my notes, make one little comment about each thing instead of going into tangents, and then moving on. Okay. I'm sure Nick's going to make a response video to Trisha's response video, I'm sure, because he can't help himself. And I may, if that's, that's juicy, and if you want me to, I can make a response to that maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know. We're, we're going to get to it. Okay, let's just get right into it. First video I saw, Nikado Avocado's video called Exposing Trisha Paytas with Receipts. It has over a million views. I think 1.3 million views or something like that. Okay. <sighs> Basically, very, very long story short, okay? Nick said that Trisha had a giveaway about her... Uh, involving her song Warrior. This is January of tw 2017. He entered the, the giveaway. They ended up DMing each other. And now, and then after that, she edited the, the DMs to make herself look good and him look bad and then leaked them out on the internet. Started talking with Vegan Cheetah and other people uh, on You Now, making fat comments that, oh, he's gained weight, blah, 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 and he felt bad, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Okay. Basically, the whole video was like 40 minutes of him, 30 minutes of him just talking about how, um, when he would watch, oh, okay, one last thing. He played the cam, basically, his husband, Nick's husband, asked, paid for Trisha to make a cameo, right, and asked name something you like about Nick and something you don't like, and Trisha said... She came off, apparently, in my opinion, and people's opinion, and whatever, whatever. Okay. As fake and a mean girl, said, said that she loved them as a couple, and whatever, whatever. I'm going to get to her response at the end of the video. Okay. So, but it came across as her being fake, and whatever, brushing everything aside, and like a mean girl, whatever. And she loved them as a couple. Like I said, okay, I'm repeating myself. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay. Now, a second video um, called My Response with Receipts. Okay. She made an Instagram story addressing all the drama with him, pretty much. Not saying his name at the time, but just addressing it. Yeah, whatever. Basically, she's made up with HG3. We're going to get to that in a minute. Um, so he thinks it's about him, probably is. Saying that people can be evil on the internet, as Trisha said, but she loves social media anyway. Um, okay. He says he doesn't know what he did to her, you know, to cause her to start talking bad about him, you know, on the You Now, with Vegan Cheetah, and all over the internet for six months in 2017, blah, blah, blah. talking about his weight gain, you know, yeah, like I said. Um, he pretty much said that, quote-unquote, allegedly, she's pretty... Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry, I'm reading my notes, okay, I'm getting, okay, I'm trying to stay on track, you guys, you know, I have a little ADHD, I'm probably, I'm sure, I just, I'm not diagnosed, so I'm trying really hard, you guys, okay. <laughs> Um, he pretty much said that he thinks that she's a liar and, and a manipulative person. She trolls on the internet just to get responses, and she says one thing in one YouTube video and another thing in another YouTube video. I'm gonna say it to response about okay, okay. I'll I'll, mess, I'll, I'll say my little brief little thing at the very end of this this two part thing. Okay. So basically that, you know, she, you know, trolls on the internet and, and on Twitter, right. Then doing the opposite on the next video. So, for example, she says she's going to quit doing mukbangs, then she uploaded a mukbang the next day, but then her fan told him, oh, well, it's probably pre-recorded. He says, not pre-recorded. Okay. Basically, to answer all this, basically, do I think Trisha's manipulative and a liar? Yes. Do I think she's problematic and shady? Yes. Do I still stand her? Yes. I think if you're going to be a fan of Shepetus, you're going to have to put up with who... You're going to have to deal with who she is, love her for who she is, or don't. Either unsubscribe or don't. 
But if you're bitching about Chipetas and you still follow her, then you're asking for problems. If you love her, like I do, I still love her, I still watch her videos, um, and whatever. I know who she is. Is she a mean girl at times? Is she fake at times? Is she a liar at times? Is she problematic at times? Is she a hypocrite at times? Yes. We all are. We all have our bad moments. Get over it if you don't like it. Okay. That's my quick response to all that. Um, I feel bad for uh, Nicaro Avocado. He seems like a genuine person. A bit over dramatic for me, but seems like he seems like an over dramatic person and he seems that he needs to, Okay. Anyway, I think he needs to let it go. I think he did the video, in my opinion, because he wanted some views and some clout, and he thinks, oh, I have more subscribers now, this video can go viral, and whatever, I can, ooh, she, she didn't meet up with me, so I'm gonna, like, give her one or whatever, and cancel her, she can't get canceled, she won't get canceled, because all her fans know who she is anyway, and a few people who don't will unsubscribe, she'll gain this, the people who will leave in five minutes, because she's nearly has five million subscribers, and she doesn't care. Okay, now the next point. Now, Trisha Paytas uploaded a few hours ago a video called... Uh, I'm cancelled again, and I'm on title of that video this, so I'm on title of this video, Trisha Paytas admits I'm cancelled again, because, so you can watch, you know, yeah, okay. And then her thumbnail will be, will be my thumbnail, like, just like the last video I did on her. Because, in that way, you can see this video, you can get everything, you can watch her video after this video, and this is a condensed version of that anyway. In case you want to watch the video, because the video's like 45 minutes long, so just watch this instead if you want. Um, okay. The first thing, and this is even long, this is a lot longer, so I want to speed this, hopefully I can get this done in 9 minutes, the rest, this rest of the part. She says, other people have done worse than her, and I'm not going to name names, but she's basically like Logan Paul and other people like that have done worse than her, and they, they made a comeback, so it is what it is. She doesn't understand why she's getting all this flack and all this drama and scandal over her. Next thing, she's basically in the video acting like she did nothing wrong. She was very, very manic. She admitted she was manic. She was very in a, in a very upbeat mood, okay, on the kitchen floor. Uh, she says she, that she found out that H3, 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 three or whatever is a troll and she made a video after and she made that initial video about H3 H3 you know, you know the body shaming thing the Instagram versus reality Be she made it in a bad moment in her life because she had a, she just had a huge fight with Jason and she was tired she hadn't said the night before blah 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 making excuses whatever what, what else is new um then she kept saying multiple times it's my body my choice my body my choice she said that about like five or six times um okay then she said, in the video, this is, Trisha, this is all Trisha now, okay? This is her video. Oh, right, okay. Uh, that she didn't feel, oh, okay, sorry. Oh, she says she's, she's trying not to be problematic. Okay, sorry, I'm talking too fast. She says she's trying not to be problematic these days. I love her for saying that, but Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, that's like saying I'm trying not to be gay in this video. Girl! Okay, <laughs> I can't help being gay, and Trisha, I love you, girl. I stand you forever, but you cannot help being problematic. But I love you for that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next thing she said. She said she didn't feel comfortable meeting with up with Nicado Avocado. Okay. And she pretty much justifies that's the reason why she didn't. She ghosted him. I mean, she didn't say the word ghost, but she pretty much did ghost him. She said that she saw uh, a video of him waving a knife allegedly. Because I gotta play allegedly. Okay. Threatening his husband. Like, yeah. And I'm saying allegedly because, you know, I have to always say allegedly when I talk about serious matters. Just to cover my bases. So allegedly, she said that she saw him allegedly waving a knife around, threatening her husband. His, his husband, as she said. She saw a video of Nick waving a knife around, threatening his husband in a video. That's what she said in her video, allegedly. Okay, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Okay. <laughs> her fans told her to watch certain videos of his that he has done, and she decided not to meet up with him after all. So he kept DMing her. She showed the DM, DMs on her video, too. So she owned up to just ghosting him, pretty much saying that I didn't feel comfortable. I've had bad experiences with YouTubers in the past, and she just didn't want to deal with it. And he came off as crazy to her, so he wanted to pass on it. Okay. She the DMs, blah, blah, blah. She even said that she had broken up with Jason like a month before. She wasn't in a good place. Uh, insinuating that she wasn't, yeah, yeah, she wasn't in a mood, mood okay. Reading off my notes that I put. Okay, that's what I do. I, I make notes when I watch these videos and then I talk to you guys. But okay, so don't forget. She justified not answering back and not meeting up because of the YouTubers in the past, not going through with collabs. Okay, that it sucks, but you should just let it go. It happens, whatever. Uh, she admits she didn't respond and she had flagged with other close friends too. So, like, it, like I said, it just happens, it happens, it happens, whatever. She says that he needs to... That he... Uh, that he needs to get with the program. If so... Um, Oh, sorry. Okay, my notes are all jumbled. Basically, she's saying that 
she didn't respond, so he should have stopped messaging her and he should have backed off. Okay. She feels like she that she's being harassed now by him making countless videos about the situation. So she's just feeling harassed by Nicado Avocado because of his his videos that have been going viral. That he's made thinking about the whole situation with the, with the yeah okay his current situation. Okay, so she feels harassed. She says that yes, she admits that he talked about his weight gain, but it happens to every mook banger. She's gaining weight. She she says to herself, she admits she admits it on to she's gaining weight, and she thinks she has no problem with saying that he is gaining weight on in, in public. Okay. Okay, all her words, not mine. Okay, allegedly, because you know, common basis. Okay, um, she said that he cut that part out of the clip in his video of the, of the you know with vegan cheetah. Okay, as she said, uh, she also said that she he should have never booked the ticket because she never responded with a certain day to collab. It was very open ended. She said. She's even contacted her lawyers right now and to ask what she should do. I guess she's uh, talking about getting a restraining order. She, I guess she insinuated that she wants to get a restraining order. She's thinking about it. I don't know. Um, quote unquote allegedly for that. Um, she even admitted that her and James Charles were going to have a collab and it didn't go through either. It happened. Just get over it. Um, she said that she doesn't owe him a closure, Nicado Avocado, because they weren't close. And she says that he should just class her as another flaky YouTuber and move on. That's what she said. That he should class her as another flaky YouTuber and move on. I love how honest she is. She's just like, you know what? I am who I am. Get over it. There we go. And that's how I am too. So you know, I, I, I feel you, Trisha. I get it. I get it, girl. It's what it is. Okay. Uh, she said, go ahead and cancel me if you want. It doesn't matter. That's what she said to her YouTube audience. People get canceled all the time and they make a comeback all the time. She gave, it, she gave it multiple examples of people who have, have been canceled and come back. Okay. Like Logan Paul and people like that. Okay. Uh, she admits that she did treat Jason badly, but she's in therapy right now talking about it and getting through it. She said that she might vlog her therapy sessions or part of it. Wow. Who wants to see that? I want to see that. It's going to be a hot mess. I love that. And then she makes videos for people who love her and doesn't care if she loses even a million subscribers because she makes videos for people who love her only. Okay. That's the summary of all that. Okay. Basically, my ending notes is, I feel bad for Nicado Avocado, but you know what? I think you, like I said, you, you're, Nick, I think you made the video just because you wanted, you say you wanted to leave, get off your chest. Really? I, uh, I think this is right when it comes, should she have maybe responded and said, please stop messaging me or blocked him? Yes. I don't know if she did or not. I, I'm guessing she didn't block him or maybe she just unfollowed him and didn't block him, but the messages were there. I don't know. She should have just told him, hey, I don't feel comfortable anymore. Please don't contact me anymore. And then if he kept going, then, you know. So I think she should have maybe said that or just block him right away or just say, hey, I changed my mind on the on us meeting up or, or please don't book your tickets or, hey, I know you booked your tickets, but I've changed my mind. Or she should have said something. I agree. She should, well, okay. I think she should have said that. She didn't. Oh, well. He shouldn't have messaged her all those times in a row. I think she should have messaged her maybe once or twice and then let it go and drop it, but... I think he made this whole video because he does these videos because he wants the views and he's getting views and he's getting attention. He wants attention. He wants views. Don't we all? So uh, I get it, Nick, but I'm just saying. I'm calling it how it is. Trisha, you're shady as hell, but I love you for you. Who you are, too. They're both in the wrong and the right, so it is what it is. I'm not taking a side. I'm just saying that they're, they're, they're both attention-seeking people and they're both a hot mess. And it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Situation sucks, but it's what it is. Okay. Ah, I made it under 50 minutes. Yes. Okay. There we go. That's the first for me. For these long, long, long videos. Usually my dumb videos are short. I'm going to keep it short. Okay. Let's wrap it up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, what did you think of this situation? About the Nick Cotto Avocados videos, Trisha's videos. What do you think about Trisha and Nick and all that stuff? Let me know all your comments about all this, this situation in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Great bell. All my social media will be down below in the info box. And I'll see you in my next video. Until next time. Bye, guys.